is here's home of the homesteader here in the homestead. Well, not my homestead, it, this here's Uncle Steve, the mechanical genius, and Aunt Connie's homestead here in Bolingbrook, Illinois. I'm up on their roof, getting ready to do a little tree trimming. They had this here pine tree. Now, I know it kind of looks like up in our homestead there in Michigan, but uh, Illinois is pretty close. But uh, I was getting ready to do some tree trimming, and want to share a few safety tips and a little fashion advice now you see this here wonderful lumberjack shirt i got on and uncle steve got me at the dare bass pro shop now this here's some fancy homer wear and i made it to match today's fashions by putting a couple holes in it and giving it some character like them there jeans you can buy pre-ripped up for you but i set my lumberjack down in the rv the other day well actually a couple months ago a month or so ago and i put me some holes in it by leaving it sitting on the heater too long accidentally i didn't recognize that it was there but now i got me a fancy homer looking fancy living out in the wilderness shirt and i got some of them there fashion holes in it now fancy that now here for the safety tips i'd like to point out that uh while i'm doing this hair repair you'll notice this roof is on a small enough angle that it's safe to walk and I had me a ladder and made sure I didn't get up past the second rung from the top step ladder in order to crawl up here on this roof. I got up here where I could trim these branches off so they wouldn't be scraping on the house. And uh, we're going to go from there. I probably had to get down below and cut some from the underside of the tree, but these ones up here figured I'd get up on the roof and do a little bit of trimming anyway thought i'd give you a short update on uh, being out and about enjoying a beautiful day and thinking of fashion it's a reminder got this here glove a right hand has been sitting in the closet at ma's house in michigan for now about five or four or six years and maybe even longer maybe about eight or ten years and this here left glove been following homer around all over texas and it took moving back to michigan getting a little closer to family in order to be able to find both these gloves and put them back in the same place and put them back to good use together now they didn't really want to get back together because when Homer found a right-handed glove in Ma's closet, he said, now I know that right-handed or left-handed glove is somewhere up there at the homestead. And when I got it out of the box that said hats and gloves and scarves, the left-handed glove kept showing up in my pocket and the right-handed glove gotta put it on here one-handed the right-handed glove somehow went missing the very first day and so the second day homer was wearing the left-handed glove and the right-handed glove was found again laying on the ground so back to my safety and fashion try and keep your gloves both hands close by when you move to a cold climate so that your fingers will stay warm on both hands if you get you some fancy homer wear like this here fancy lumberjack thank you uncle steve the mechanical genius and aunt connie if you need a little fashion for modern day times and not out in the homestead simply set your new homer wear 
lumberjack shirt over the back of the seat in the RV where the heater is and it won't take but a couple minutes to get some fancy fashion holes in it and also on a safety note make sure if you're gonna climb a roof especially in these here cold climates make sure that it's not an icy roof and make sure to use a step ladder you ain't got to get up on past that second roof from the top all right find you a solid surface to stand on today if you like our content please don't forget to like the videos each individual one below I think there's a little bell if you want to get notified when we post new ones also subscribe to us here at peace of eden homestead and the most importantly as we try and grow this here channel is to share with your friends and family our channel so that we can have some more people watching that might like our antics and adventures there'll be more learning coming from Horatio and Bison Bobby and now as I retire and get up there to the homestead I'll probably get a chance to do some educational stuff instead of all this here goofing around just saw you like an update on property live here from Bolingbrook Illinois